Hello, uh, this is Ibrahim, and in this video, I'm going to talk about displaying multiple of images uh, in a given f in a given page. Um, displaying a single image that we have seen in the previous video, and we've seen several approaches how to do that. And uh, the concept was basically to pass in the image name in a variable to the page where we want to display the image in. In this case, we wanted to display the image in complete with HTML, so we pass the Im we pass the image name to in this case, we pass the image name to complete.html, and in complete.html, we basically use this approach to display the image in which we had an, uh, our custom endpoint that actually retrieves the image from the folder that we wanted. So now let's look at this: how to display multiple of images. So in our case, we have a folder called images, and in your case, you could have maybe inside of images, you have uh, a folder for each of the of your users, naming named by an image ID. In this, in, the, in that case, you could go uh, one level deeper using the user ID. Maybe in this case, that you could pass through. Maybe you could do like this, the format, and then you could have your, your sorry, you could have your user ID like that. So, and the user ID you could also pass. Um, you could also pass as a parameter here. Uh, then you could also pass it three through here. Anyways, let's talk about this specific scenario now, in which I have the folder in my server, and then we have multiple of uh, we have multiple of images inside of the folder. And how to return? So what we need to do now is basically return these image names to the file or to the page where we want to display those images in. In this case, you know what? Let's do. Uh, let's create a new page let me name it gallery and uh, leave complete to html as is let us not change complete to html and what we want to do is we do not want to pass through the uploader again let's create a new endpoint dedicated to displaying a gallery in gallery to html now let's create maybe an app to truth and let's name the root as a gallery like that, front slash gallery, and define the function for that root. Let's name it get gallery. And it takes no parameters, so we leave it as is. And now, what we need to do is we need to create, only to have a way to retrieve the file names in here. Now, it's not always necessarily that you have, that you do this approach to retrieve the image names in a given folder. What you could do, is you could have a database where, for example, a list where each user uploads a list set of images, and those images will be um, maybe in, it will be stored in your database for a specific user. So what you would want to do is you want to query the database and retrieve the image names from the database, and then you just work with them here. Um, but in our case, we don't have a database just yet. So what we want to do, we just want to simply display the images in uh, in the images folder so in for this case let us use a the us library and then we are going to use list dir which is right here and the path would be um, now this this would mean the dot and the front slash would be the current working path so what we are the, the current working path is where the app is stored app.y so app.y is actually inside of source Let me close these so app.y is inside of source so the path would be here would be to source here so list dir would display all the files that exist in the in src because app.y is inside of src and we're running the command from app.y so what we need are the images inside of images folder. So we need to go a level deeper. So we need to specify the folder name, images like that. And this would basically, list AR would return a list of file names. This would return a list of file names. And we can store those in image, say for example, in a variable. Uh, let me call it image names like that. And this would be the the return uh, the list that results from this method would be stored in image underscore names and now what we need to do is we need to pass this list of names we need to pass it to gallery.html 
and we already know how to do that because we've done it previously we can do the exact same manner here so we're going to use render template return render template like so and then we need to specify which template to use or which page to use in this case we are we decided to use uh, gallery dot sorry gallery .html like that and we want to pass in the list of names and let's name it image names just the way uh, similar to the variable name so now this variable here this variable can be used in gallery.html because we're passing it to gallery.html and image names is basically the list of image names that we've obtained from this method here and this method retrieves the files in this path all of the files in this path so, uh, sorry all the images in this path here which is basically dot front slash is where our source folder is our app is in source so uh, we want to go in a level deeper which is images and we want to obtain this list of files however you should keep in mind that if we had maybe um, a file maybe file.txt it will also be retrieved I'll show you later on how to actually or how to specify which extensions to use from this list so let's go ahead and now let's just settle with uh, getting all of the file names here so now we have the list of uh, image names we want to pass them to gallery and now if we come here and if we decided to display the variable um, image names we will display the list of image names here but what we want to do is we want to display the images themselves so what we could do is we could use an operation in Jinja now we've seen now this one here the brackets like so basically represents a variable if we want to display an or if we want to do an operation in Jinja we use the bracket and dollar sign sorry the uh, percentage sign and and like that so basically brackets and uh, percentage sign percentage sign and bracket instead of us doing the double brackets like that and this is how we tell Jinja that this is an operation rather than uh, an out, rather than output of the variable inside of the variable name so in this case we're going to use a for loop to loop through the list so the way we do that just like the way we've done it in um, Python so or flask so for image sorry for let's name this for image name to make it readable for image name in image names so now we are looping through each and every image name in the image names list and now we have to close the block here like, like so so and for like that so you know we could do this for our readability purposes anyways and now what we could do is we could display the image name like that but this will not display the image name this will not display the image this is all this will only display the image name in this case it will only display for example koala jellyfish temp 2009 Volkswagen Golf GTI so on and so forth so what we need to do is we need to do the similar function that we have done here so what this one will do this one so surprisingly image name is the same as our variable name here so what this one will do this will this will change the image name here to the variable that we have obtained here from the list and will be passed to send image and this will all return the image for us and it will be displayed here let's test this and see how it works you know just for debugging purposes let us try to display the image so just so you see the list of image names let's print this sorry image image names so just for debugging purposes we want to display the image names and I'm going to leave this one here just so and let me put an HR here just so we separate and we see how the image names actually looks in the HTML file how it will be replaced to the list that we have obtained and we want to see the list before it's sent to gallery.html so let's run this and see how if it works let me open up a page sorry and this is a page okay, so let me go to the IP that we've specified and we remember that our endpoint is actually called 
gallery. So front slash gallery. That's what we will use. Front slash gallery. And let's see how if it works. So now we seem to have a problem. Uh, expected token in got if. Okay, so it looks like we have a problem in our code here in the gallery.html. However, let's take a look at what the list actually has. So you can see here in app.y, our list of image names actually contain the file names of the images that we have. And this basically, this is the list of file names. And this seems to have worked fine. This has to seem to have worked properly. Now, do we seem to have a problem here? A typo basically. And we have typed in for image name if image names instead of in image names. I do apologize for the typos I'm making. And it's uh, silly of me. Anyways, let's uh, read on this. And refresh the page here. So this is the list of image names that we have in the folder and this is the HR and these are the images that we have in the folder. Now this looks quite ugly I must say you know the images are so big and so on and so forth so what we could do now is what you, uh, you could use bootstrap for this. So to quickly do this let me just pause the video and simply add the bootstrap uh, commands in here very quickly. Uh, let me add the link or you know what let me do it as I speak I hope you don't mind. I understand this might be a long video, uh, but I hope you don't mind. All right. Anyways, let me import these in the head. Sorry about that. Let me just all get the. I'm working on the other monitor, just to get the uh, the links to Bootstrap and stuff. So this is the link to Bootstrap. I, to Bootstrap. Sorry. I just obtained it from Bootstrap. And uh, let me go to the bottom and also add the uh, JavaScript to bootstrap core javascript and add it to the bottom here before we close the body and let me just put it here and let me use a uh, container and a row and uh, maybe a header as well okay so let me use now a inside of body let me use uh, okay let me copy these one second uh, these are just from bootstrap one two three so we have uh, two unclosed tags so what we could do like that so we have we closed all of these tags and this is basically the header image gallery and in the loop here we want to display them as a thumbnail so we're going to use the bootstrap ready boots uh, the we want to keep looping over this and on every image we want to close this division here so what this basically does I've just got this from bootstrap site and this basically creates some sort of a grid uh, in medium devices it's a four, uh, uh, four elements to be viewed in extra small six and to apply the thumbnail class okay so we also need to add to the images uh, the class uh, Thumb uh, image responsive to make it responsive as well. So let's read on this. So I just added some basic HTML uh, elements here. Uh, I just added Bootstrap and uh, some Bootstrap, you know, uh, CSS and stuff. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to show you that you can add more exciting stuff to it. And let's refresh the page again and see how it would look like. And there we go. So basically this is a stun thumbnail gallery and these are the images that we have in our server. So I hope that was uh, easy and understandable. And this is the list of... Uh, so what we, just a quick recap. What we have done is we got the list of image names from our folder here and we passed it to gallery.html. And in gallery.html we just imported bootstrap CSS and bootstrap JavaScript. And we added a container and a row and we added a header called thumbnail gallery and we just looped through each of the list of the file names and implemented this grid division here and uh, that's it uh, so basically yeah that's it um, um, I think that's it for this video yeah uh, if you have any questions feel free, to, feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you uh, anyways I hope that was helpful and uh, thank you for watching have a good day.